have heard by now that I've resigned as president of the Life Coaching International Feminist Association, LIFA. My resignation follows seven of my senior people being arrested in Zurich on trumped-up charges of corruption, money laundering, and in one case, an unnatural act involving an umbrella stand with a filigree inlay. I deny all the unfounded allegations that backhanders were paid to secure Norwich as the location for this year's Reckitt and Coleman Cuts and Mustard Award for Best International Celebrity Life Coach, Eastern Division. Norwich was, on the contrary, selected as a result of a rigorous and fully transparent process with the full support of the regional president, my third best friend Delia. It was the purest coincidence that the jury members had all enjoyed the hospitality of the True Delight VIP suite at last year's International Celebrity Life Coaching Championships in Sun City, South Africa. Now we all know about the high level of fatalities during the construction project at Norwich, but I can assure you that every one of those migrant workers from Suffolk was treated with the utmost dignity and respect. Every one of those bereaved families was compensated with a lifetime supply of mustard from the sponsors. Let's move on to the selection of St. Petersburg for the Cathedral City Big Cheese Award. Just because my senior people were photographed driving around in Zill limousines wearing top-of-the-range Seconda watches does not mean that any impropriety took place. It's not as if those Seconda watches were studded with diamonds. Not many of them anyway. Plus, and this is the point that everyone seems to be missing, St. Petersburg is, after all, a city with a cathedral. The reason I resigned is so that I can concentrate all my efforts on keeping my name off the charge sheet. <laughs>